Don't hey, do it! Take a jump bomb! Hey, Brian. I feel like, uh... You didn't really get to understand the full story of what happened. And I, and I get... I get it, you know. I'm not the best officer. I'm not Suarez. You know? I'm not Suarez. I... Uh, I thought Carmine was in trouble. Carmine called me because we've been kidnapped before. He said, hey, I'm meeting with somebody at the court center. I can't tell you who. I had no idea who he was meeting. And then hung up. We were going to an event, so I was dressed in the event clothes, and I had my personal car because it was Vice City vibe, and that's what my car looks like. So me thinking he was in trouble, I was going to go help him. I arrived to the court center with my class one draw, turned the corner, and he's there with another cadet. She was furious that I went there. Not once did she ask me personally to leave. She said, I don't like him being here, whatever. She was arguing with Carmine. Carmine said, that's my boy, Tinker. He's fine. She said, no. Wanted to end the conversation. She was being very, she was talking shit to me, being disrespectful. So I said, so I remember the past conversations I did have with Hardcastle and Bison saying that cadets should not be talking to you that way. So if you need to pull rank on them, you should. And that's what I did. I never did it before. So I said, hey, you need to respect me. I'm your superior. She said, I'm never going to respect you. I hit her because that's what happened to me. And I get it. I shouldn't be copying other people and I shouldn't have hit her, but I did. Damn, I, I hit her like... twice. She took out her baton. Never mind. She knocked me out on the ground. I was still conscious a I little bit. That was really bit. bad with she that context. She hopped a loogie on my back, walked away. Carmine picked me up. I said, you're going to fucking regret this shit. And we were walking away. She turns around and handcuffs me. Said, you're under arrest now. Called for 77s. The whole police department showed up after Carmine unhandcuffed me again. She handcuffs me again. I'm on the phone with Hardcastle while she's handcuffing me. I put him on speaker. He says, if she doesn't hand handcuff you, she's suspended for 72 hours. So that's what I said. Everybody shows up, goes, talks to her, doesn't talk to me at all. At the end of everything, they come and handcuff me, come up to me. And then I said, that's it. I'm just going to clock off duty. Hardcastle said, no, just go to the event. So I did. And that's what happened during that incident. I had no idea who he was meeting with, who she was, what was going on. And I'm not trying to place myself in situations or anything like that. I was genuinely worried about my friend. The prior day before that, there was a security guard. It's Pat, who always fucks with us all the time. So me thinking it's Pat, I get to fuck with him too. And that's what we did. He attacked me first. The officers that were on scene turned their backs on me while I was there. I got back up. I put him in handcuffs because he attacked my vehicle. Okay. After that, right? I put him in the alleyway. He gives me a sob story about his family, yada, yada. I unhandcuff him. I'm walking towards the car. He starts running at me. I'm thinking he's going to attack me again. So I attack the shit out of him. Everybody shows up. The same people that showed up to the incident to the, with the, the cadet incident showed up there too. Started attacking me, tasing me, trying to put me in cuffs. I didn't know what to do because I felt like it, they were all just piling on me because the other guy was literally just attacked me. So I call you. You don't answer. I call uh, Conan. He answers. And I said, hey, I might lose my job. Because everybody in that area were attacking me. Nobody was defending me. No one cared that he attacked me first. It was, why didn't you just let him park there? Why didn't you just drive off? Why'd you escalate it to this point to where you had to defend yourself? And then I hear, why are you putting yourself in situations for the cadet thing that you shouldn't be? I thought Carmine was being kidnapped. Otherwise, if I knew he was meeting with somebody in private and I knew it was a private conversation, I wouldn't have showed up. I act like an idiot, yes, but I'm not dumb. I make mistakes. I'm not the perfect officer. Do I care about my employment? Absolutely. I care about this position. I do. I don't go out and just do crazy ass shit knowing that I'm untouchable. I know I can lose my job, but it seems like even when I do bite my tongue and I, and I, and I don't do anything, and this is not a pity party thing, I, I'm just going to get in trouble. And, I, and Tesla, you know, I had some conversations with some individuals who, who approached me even when I was during the suspension. People in the department, that I'm not going to mention, saying things like, oh, hey, you know, you probably should look at, you know, something else because it looks like people are targeting you. And I'm not saying that because I'm saying that someone did approach me 
and told me at a gas station. And then I have other, I've had a conversations at the wedding about, you know, Hey, it looks like you're always walking on eggshells, yada, yada. I get it. I'm the class clown of the LSPD. I chose that. Nobody else did. I did because of my actions, but it doesn't mean I'm a terrible officer. Sticker. <clears throat> I like you a lot. I stuck my neck out for you to have an opportunity in this PD. I was met with a lot of pushback at first. You weren't happy that you joined the PD. I said, no, give this man a chance. You'll see what he'll do. And I was very happy with you as a cadet. I mean, you're great at the start. I'll be honest. And you started making a lot of mistakes. And um, unfortunately for you, a lot of people started defining by those mistakes, which is not fair to you all the time, right? I'm pretty sure everybody here in the city wouldn't appreciate being judged for their worst mistake every single time. I know I wouldn't. For me, as long as you learn from it and learn, turn into learning experience and grow from it, that's the biggest thing. If I see progress, I would never, um, you know, kick somebody out because at least they're trying, they're showing, they're giving it their best. And that's the most important thing, in my opinion. I do believe you'll come back from this suspension, um, you know, more polished, understanding the expectation, and being a better police officer. There's a time and place to have fun, and there's a time and place to be serious. And you have to find that balance. If you don't, you are going to get, you know, made an example of. So, just, yes. you got to pick the right people, you know, when it comes to this. That's why I pick and choose who I have fun with. I know those folks are not going to talk. Not, I know they're not going to say anything. They're going to roll with it. There are some people in the city that might just see it as something else, and it might turn into serious. So that's why you got to pay attention, close attention to who you're dealing with and pick and choose your battles wisely, especially as, as who you are, Tinker, right? You're not a, you're not a cop that's going to follow regular SOPs every single time. You're not a cop who's going to be by the, by the book, right? You let things slide. You're going to see how things are going to turn out, and I respect that. Like I said, you draw a line somewhere in the sand when it comes to it. That way, it doesn't get too far and too late. Can I tell you something? Yeah. You know the complaints that I have with IA? I guarantee they're not from any individuals I've interacted with. I'll put everything That's exactly on that. what I'm saying, though. That's exactly what I'm saying, Tinker. So that means that there's people that want me gone, sir. There's people who are literally going and telling you things when you're not watching me all the time. You don't see the work that I but do. I, all I don't the time. have to watch you all the time to know you're doing good work, Tinker. Okay. Yeah, I know. But uh, listen, the, 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 I'm coming back to work, right? What happens if I make one mistake? I'm going to ask you like genuinely, like right now, sir, it really depends. say I mess I, up I one more time. I, I can't tell you what's going to happen next because it's case by case. It's depending on the mistake you make. If you fuck up big time, then yeah, it might lead to getting fired. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. And I don't want you to live in this fear that one mistake and I'm gone. That's you know, how I feel. Mm. I feel like if I go back to work tomorrow, I clock in with everything that's happened right now and the, the, the fire that clearly I've ignited because... The fire is not going to just go out immediately, right? I talked to Gable. Gable literally said I'm number one on his shit list. I'm the number one person that he does not like. And that's internal affairs. If I come back to work tomorrow and I'm walking on eggshells on any interaction that I have with any type of individual, and I'm, I'm, I'm fired... Yeah, it's a shitty feeling. Don't get me wrong. But you can come back from this. You can prove to everybody else you learned and you've gotten better. And that no, will be you behind mean? you, though. Think, don't think what about his one mistake. I'm gone. Think about his... I've learned my lesson. And I'm going to show you why and how. Okay? Don't try to live in this paranoia that you're going to get fired any minute, any second. Okay? 
Just try to do your job to your best way. abilities and work on that. Focus on you. Don't worry about what, what others are doing or thinking. Right? Sir, I'm not worried about what others are doing. I'm worried about me. I was already making changes, sir. I was doing pretty solid police work. And then I went and I hit a cadet. I shouldn't have done that clearly. Obviously, I know that's why I was punished. Sir, so many people have approached me. So many people, I, I can't even count on two of my hands, have approached me and told me that I need to get out before it's too late. I would rather leave with my dignity than be reprimanded and, and shown that, oh, I'm a complete failure, not only to you, but myself. Is it dignity or your pride? There's a difference. I can't be a Suarez, sir. I'm not a robot. Who says Suarez is a robot? Don't. Why are you comparing no, yourself to disrespectful there? Uh, all right, thinker. sorry. Let me go back. Let me go back. Suarez is an amazing officer. All right, it's and the reason why I bring though. that up is because I was used as an example against him during that meeting. That's the problem with Tinker, man. What do you mean? They compare me. This is the problem with Tinker. Him. Look where he's at, and he you started a month before him. This is why he's gonna get fired, honestly. I'm not by all means talking badly on Suarez. He's a personal opinion. He's a, a phenomenal officer, uh, one of the best. I, I believe he deserves to be in the position he is now. Uh, he's so amazing at his job. I, I, I look up to him. He is genuinely an amazing individual. So I don't mean any disrespect in any way whatsoever. What I'm saying is I'm a very outspoken individual. Obviously, I talk mm -hmm. a lot. That's one of my things. I talk sometimes way too fucking much. I'm also working on that too. I'll cut the bullshit. What are you doing with Fred? All right, Tinker? I asked. He told me he would take me in with the PBSO. Oh, you asked what? Cut the fucking bullshit right now. What'd you ask him? I asked him earlier today if uh, he would accept me transferring in the PBSO. Why are you transferring? Because I feel like being a part of the LSPD, I'm walking on eggshells in any moment. You don't think the same thing's going to happen? What the fuck is happening, Mr. Sir, You don't think the Bay Department is going to go hard on you, Tinker? Are you that dumb? I'm not dumb, Motherfucker, sir. I have protected you from so many people coming after you, Tinker. People wanted you fired months ago, and I said, no, it's not happening. That's what I'm saying. Foot down. They're all LSPD members that want me gone. That's not true, Almost actually. Every... That's not Tell true. me how many besides Brian, sir, and yourself. Besides Brian and yourself, sir, how many people in the LSPD want me here? Besides Brian and you. And be brutally honest with me. How many people in the LSPD, because you guys are the only ones that talk to me. Genuinely. Like, you're the only ones that I can actually open up to and talk to. Without knowing that it's going to be rubbed against me in the future. And that's not a friend thing. That's not like, oh, I can just hit you up and you can pick me up when I'm out drinking and binging. No. That's knowing that I have a safe place in this department, knowing that I know fully that somebody has my back here. Even when you know that, hey, I get it, he's a fuck up, but he's trying. But most of these people don't see that. They don't count my wins. They look at my losses. They look at the times that I make mistakes. I get it. I'm not doing the pity thing. I made those choices. I knowingly made the choices that I made, which led me here. No one else made those choices. I did. What I'm saying is how many fucking people in the LSPD besides you and Brian have my back? Zero. Nobody. And that's that's just the reality of it. And that's how that's how I genuinely feel. So me calling you guys isn't Oh, get me out of jail free card. You're the only individuals I can genuinely come to and you guys will actually give me good advice. I also want to get rid of Tinker. Because you guys want me to succeed. I'm tired of these people are half assed It's really hard to play on a team. I'm tired of half measures, man. Most of your teammates won't pass you the ball. The only person that wants you to have the ball are the coaches. I really don't want people like this in my department. I don't. All right, let me talk to you real quick. I don't know if I want that guy in my department anymore. Wait, what?
I'm serious. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting you to say. I'm serious. This guy went to prep to ask for a transfer. That's all you got out of that conversation? Absolutely. Motherfucker, what is wrong with you? Things are changing, Brian. Things are changing. For what? Why are we keeping Tinker as he wants to leave? Okay, so... Hey, uh, Brian, look in the clouds. What? Huh? Do it again. Wait, what? I don't see anything. I can hear you. Oh. Can you please whisper? Wait, can you hear now? That's weird. Bass. We kill this motherfucker right now. We get done with it, okay? Come on. You've done it before. We'll do it again. Oh, I was, I'm going to do it regardless. <laughs> With a bullet in his fucking head? Oh, I got Conan calling Oh, me. listen, oh, we're, we're sacrificing his ass regardless, all right? I got to make you feel better. But you really want to get rid of him? Is that what you got? Are you fucking with me right now? Yeah, I'm fucking with you. Okay. Oh, oh we put a bullet in his I think people head. know. I don't know people do know. It's the second time we had cops come by. Conan is calling me, God damn it. Look. Um, you did understand what he was saying, though, right? Yeah, and how do we fix it, Brian? Okay. What do I tell him? I mean, the guy is a fuck-up sometimes. The guy is a fuck-up. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a Listen, fuck? Let me... Here, here's... I mean, look, I have a, I have a very differing opinion, because he does dumb shit. I deal with him for, what, 15 minutes every couple days? But he's not oversaturating my calls. He's not shooting people you shouldn't shoot. He's not resulting in mauled levels that come out of nowhere. Yeah. He's less of a problem to me than some of these other idiots on the force. So when yeah. I see him, someone that's willing to be in the city while he's suspended, I look at, I want more. Okay, maybe not more of him. More of like 50% of who he is. Go talk to him. Tinker. Yes, sir. How about the fact you don't have a support system? It's not, there's not a lot of people having your back, right? That's your biggest issue right now. We're working on something. Especially within the What's LSPD. That, mm -hmm. I had an LSPD command meeting today, actually, in fact, uh, where we're going to discuss how we're going to approach things, especially when it comes to what punishment. What the fuck do you want? What the fuck? Oh, it was not me. That was Brian. Oh, I thought it was you, Rami. My bad. <laughs> okay, let me call you in a sec, all right? Yeah, I'm going to bed pretty soon. No, no, just, no, everything's good. Nothing, yeah, no, we're just, I, I'm jerking bass off. Oh, you're dealing with Tinker. Yeah. Tell him to call yeah. him back. He'll hang I'm up. Big. Listen, I'll call you back, all right, Clarkson? Oh, Tinker. Oh, it's Clarkson? I want to fucking yeah. bat for you, okay? I all had right, your back. You I do best. Absolutely. fucking lutely I brought you to this world. I'm not afraid to take you out of it. Don't forget that. Okay? You are part of mean? LOS Biddy. The reason why you're here is because of me, asshole. That's why. I know that. I'm aware. Right. So don't forget that. Do you know how birth is given? You're in the womb and then the water breaks? Yeah, you're given life. Do you trust us? I trust you guys. I just, my job's everything to me. If I lose this job. Stop thinking about you losing your job. I'm nothing if I lose this yes, job. That's all you talk about, Tinker. Mass right there. <sighs> no. I get it. You gave me life, Bass. Sometimes bonds need to be made in blood. What? What are you talking? Why do you have a knife, Bass? Did you not hear what Brian said? Y yeah, I heard what he said. You know, I got a strange text from Shelly. Okay. Sometimes for you to live and endure the pain you have in your life, you must hate yourself. Admit you're wrong. Then become rebirth. You become a new person. And then from there, you start to see the light. Things do get better. What he's saying is, you're about to get blooded in. 
Blood into what? Into the LSPD. Happens blood with everyone. Blood we out. don't talk about it in the open. <laughs> but most of the officers you, walk, you see walking around, blooded in. If we put a bullet in someone's head, they don't wake up. <laughs> yeah, the only way out of the LSPD is death. I Correct. can't transfer. Correct. Or fired. Well, Tinker, like I said, I have your back. I want you to have the feeling that there's going to be, you know, stability in your life, okay? So you're not living on the edge. I don't want you to feel that way, right? That's your main complaint. Okay. Support system where we have your back. We care about you. And you care about us. That's what we need. We need some sort of bond. And this is exactly it right here. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see if you snitch. Fucking do it. Are you ready? Yeah. Inker. Yes, sir. Look at me when I do it. <laughs> yes, sir. Do you have anything to say before I proceed? No, sir. <laughs> I Let can't do it, dude. Death. I can't fucking do it. Ryan. Hmm. Is there anything you want to say before I proceed? Don't make us change our mind. You know what will happen. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> you fucking ocean dumped him. Wait, you were not picking up the body? What? No, we'll see. You know, we'll get EMS to come down here. We'll give a private call and see if he snitches. <laughs> and if he does, no one's gonna fucking believe him. And if he doesn't snitch, well, then we know he's good. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Do you think this motherfucker thinks he's blood contracted now? Absolutely. Dude, why felt... don't we just do this with everybody? That, that would solve everything. That felt so good, actually. Can I shoot everybody who transfers out? <laughs>